Hello. Hey, Miss Cleo. Tell me a little bit about your backgrounds before we get into how you created such a wonderful platform. Started uh, working with uh, the founder of BET, Bob Johnson, and the uh, at BET at the time, and um, uh, learned a lot from him early on as to like the power of a black platform and a lot of the building blocks from that experience and just like that um, um, uh, uh, that that uh, that time in my life I went into um, uh, you know are the pretty much the building blocks for what Black Tag is uh, today. But not too long after that, went into e-commerce, uh, my first venture. Um, and, and in that space, uh, that was the first time I really was into a platform, um, into building a platform that was geared towards um, Black creators. At that time, it was designers and, and artisans. And, um, and uh, while the retail space uh, uh, proved to be really hard to scale and I learned a lot um, from that experience, it was really what was happening with content um, that really drove me to start pivoting to more of a content product. And that's where really Black Tag came to be, right? Um, something that was more focused on still the Black creators, still the Black creatives and artists, but, but uh, more directly focused towards uh, just the content side, the content creation side. So I started building the groundworks uh, of uh, Black Tag. And uh, Akeen is a, is a brilliant product person. He's able to really dimensionalize and think about how product looks like. And I'm able to look at how business can be interpreted inside of a product particularly around content. And so, you know, we just leaned into our natural abilities and looked at the space of, um, you know, where content was being made, um, you know, where creators were being discovered and realized that there was an important um, market that we had to deliver something that, that we thought, even if we failed, we could achieve by finding our own learnings, you know, you know within that process. And through that discovery, uh, you know, Black Tag was really that, um, you know, that key driver for us. And there's been, a lot in the news about disparities in pay for influencers and the lack of credit that Black creators have been getting on platforms like TikTok for, you know, for their viral challenges and trends. So how will Black tag creators be safe from issues like that? One of the key things that we're focusing on right now, um, and I think it's, it's two sides of the hand, Charlotte Akeen as the most secondary, but one of the first things that we're looking on is really listening to the creators and realizing why they're leaving those platforms in the first place, right? The, the the simplicity of that is um, they create a piece of art that then does not get recognized or if it does get recognized um, it takes it gets taken by someone else who may be uh, uh, you know a different you know a different skin tone you know from what they look like and then go on and create that right and then that that lack of economic in terms of that ownership going back to that creator, there's a massive gap in that, right? And so that creativity gets taken, it gets fostered, it gets you know blown up. Even brands, you know, take it on, you know, to manifest it. But uh, the key problem is that that creator is not being recognized for the first initial, um, you know, activation of creating that initial concept, right? And so for us, can we build something where it's equally uh, focused around focusing on the creator that then directs. Uh, visibility and audiences and brands to say this is who you need to recognize here first and foremost who created this and we're putting our mission and our efforts to help this creator not only from an economic point but also from a compensation point in a sense like we have that benefit of being um uh, you know starting from the core as a tech company and as a you know a middle ground between a social media platform and a entertainment platform right and and actually building the things that speak to us and and actually filling our needs from its foundation versus these massive companies that didn't start off this way they're operating more correctively and like retroactively trying to fix issues of uh, uh issues with black creators on their platform and black content it's compensation but for us it's like you know being a black founded company we can think through uh, you know, ownership structure, compensation structure, like all the content, creator driven content on our platform is 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 um, majority owned by the creator. You know, this idea of this like uh, compensation thing, we think about the creator first, right? It's a creator driven platform. So I think I know something else that's been an issue for black users and creators on other apps like Instagram and Facebook are algorithms that come with the biases of the people who've created them and you know that the racism that comes with those biases so 
how is Black Tag combat, combating that issue to protect creators? Yeah, I mean, you know, first and foremost, it's Black people that are building the, the actual tech, right? And so I think from that understanding, we understand our own people because we are those people, right? And for us, it's, it's looking at what has been biased in other systems and how do we create a product that is, um, you know, that stands to just do what it's right to do, right? And from that perspective and from that thinking, I think a lot of the, the bias notion, you know, sort of goes out the window. Um, it's okay for communities to empower themselves and, and for communities to build tools to, to help those other you know communities to empower themselves as well, right? And if you are a member of that community or even outside of that community, and you think that, that community deserves to be empowered, it's okay for you to support a product or a service that's being built to support that community. And so that's the mindset that we're you know that, you know all the time focus on. Um, and let's about um, even even some of the structures that exist out there, but more so, you know, importantly, what are we doing here to make sure that we're supporting the community and supporting the creators that we so much believe in? Being small allows us to focus on, again, that very human centered um, um, play, which is um, less algorithmic and more so curation, like literally like it's about us, you know, we're not. We're not, uh, we always say we don't want to build the next TikTok, the black TikTok or the black Instagram, right? That's not what we're trying to do. We're not fully social media, um, nor are we the black Netflix. We're not fully like, um, we're, we're, we're a middle ground that leverages components, key components for that we've chosen from that, from those worlds, right? And so for us to build that, uh, uh, so for us, an important portion of that is this idea of just like, like human curation, right? This idea of like, we're curating the creators. We're not, it's not open platform for any users to be on. We have a limit and a certain number in mind um, that, uh, that, you know, that we'll have um, in terms of like the, the maximum amount of creators on the platform. We always want it to be something that feels like very special and something that feels very like thoughtful. And so like relying less on, you know, as much as I'm into technology and I love robots, like relying less on the robots and the and the algorithms to to determine what like good content or good community is, right? It's very much curated and and we 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 can afford to, to be that because uh, again we're not looking to be a uh, you know a billion user platform per se, uh, right? Um, uh, this is this uh, this is very much a. Uh, 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 apparatus for um, equity. But for us is to make sure that we're servicing the community, servicing the creators and servicing um, audiences that are looking specifically for the types of content that does not exist on platforms or that is a very monolithic approach from finding those systems that do curate black content.